Marhaba ya shabab, welcome to part two. So in the previous part, in part one, we set up the uh, new SSH key, ED 25519, and we copied on our Linode server, and then we changed the port from port 22 to port 1022 for SSH. So as I mentioned in, a, in part one, now we want to install the uncomplicated firewall, the UF W. Um, it's a pretty uh, easy um, firewall. It's a user-friendly frontend for managing IP tables, firewall rules on Ubuntu systems. And this is something you can more if you want if you're interested more about uh, firewall. Just like I said, go to my part one, and I have from Google and so on from other sources um, copied some stuff for you if you're interested. And yeah, now let's install it on our server. Let's SSH again. We are logged in. That's great. And this firewall, I mean, the reason why I'm, why, why I want to install this firewall is because um, we will want to do some, we want to allow certain things and we want to don't allow certain things. Basically, when you're installing a firewall, first of all, you, you um, disable everything and then you just gradually allow some certain things like port numbers and so on and so forth and this is what we are going to do we are now allowing just certain ports to be accessed on our server um, also again because of security concerns so so let me just copy this command from my medium.com article so we can install the firewall Oh, wait, uh, wrong, 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 delete, delete, delete. So, right. hope this works. Okay, now we have installed the firewall. And now we can check if this firewall is up and running or not. But like I said, the un uncomplicated firewall, it's it's the UFW and say status. It's inactive. Okay. That's good for now. Uh, now we can allow certain ports which are allowed on to access on our server. So let's start with our SSH because otherwise we, when we log out we have a huge problem. Uh, allow as you can see, the rule was added. And now let's go to the next one. You also want to allow HTTP. You can either write, write now, right now, HTTP or the port. The port is 80 for HTTP. And of course, we can. We also want to add HTTPS, which is 443. Or you can also write HTTPS. So, I'm more a fan of port numbers. Now we can check the status. Three status, uh, it's still inactive. Ah, uh, first I need to enable it, of course. Say yes. Firewall is active and enabled. Startup. So let's check the status. And now, as you can see, these are the ports which are allowed on our server. The most important part, a port for now, is the SSH port 1022. And the other ones are important for our backend application, which will be soon deployed here. Okay. Just to make sure everything still works, I would suggest again open a new window. Go again to, I'm just pressing the up arrow on my keyboard. So SSH again to our instance. Still works even if the firewall is now up and running, clear. That's great. And we can, we can here exit. 
close this window. We can also exit here. So that, 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 that. and yeah, just I'm sorry. I just want uh, just to make things sh um, sure that everything works properly. Just SSH again, and yeah, it still works. And if we check again, sudo status I just let me okay. provide the password and yeah it's uh, it still works we can log in and that's great okay I I'm sorry I'm Asif. Uh, I just forget what I wanted to do so basically why we installed this firewall is not only to, to only allow certain ports to be accessed on our server, but also I want to disable pinging on our server. So because it's also a kind of um, attack um, method to, to, to ping a server as much as possible. I mean, I don't know if you heard about DDoS attacks um, so to get your um, server down. So just let me just explain what I mean. So just instead of instead of SSH, I just take the IP address. I just say ping, and as you can see, it will ping. It will ping. It will ping the server, which is just costing resources on our server and make make it perhaps also slow. I mean, if it just uh, if the ping goes from one machine, it's not a problem. But imagine now you when you have a real server farm with hundreds of virtual machines all doing a ping on your server it might slow it down or completely shut it down because of the amount of tcp requests that are coming in and so what i want to do and what i forget to tell you is um, we are not only um, restricting the ports we are also disabling right now the pinging so to do this let's just, just clear this and let me just jump to my um, Medium.com article. Just let me take this command. So paste it here. So in here in ATC uh, UFW, we have the before the rules file, and there we can disable pinging in this file. So just press enter, and then you have to go a little bit down. So as you can see, you have here OK ICMP uh, codes for input. And here we will paste the disable pinging command inside. Just let me just go, as you can see, I've also uh, marked it here in the medium.com article. So here's the command. Uh, now I'm on Vim, so I and enter, but I don't want to have a comment here, so paste. So when this is the command um, which disables pinging on our server, and that's basically it. It's just this command, and as you can see, the file is quite long, but I just press escape, colon, W for write, for write, Q for quit, and exclamation mark for now. So, and that's basically it. But if you open a window again, if you open a window again, then you will see that pinging is still working. We can still ping the server. So that's why I would say, just say, Control uh, C to abort, and we have to reboot the server. So, um, yeah, on a reboot, the changes will take place. So we do this with sudo reboot. As you can see, we are locked out, and yeah, 
um, as soon as we as soon as the server is up and up and running again, we will try it again. So see you in a second. So guys and girls, the Shabab, which means young people. Um, I just waited two to five minutes and basically it just takes normally two to five minutes that your server restarts. So let's check it. I just paused the video, just this is something I want to say. Uh, now let's try to SSH and we are locked in as we can see. That's great. Now the moment of truth where we test the pinging. So let me just also clear here the screen. Okay, now we have our pinging command. As you can see, request timeout, request timeout, request timeout. So pinging is not allowed now on our server. The firewall filters it, 100% packet loss. And as you can see here, we had 0% packet loss, 0% packet loss. It was pinging work, now pinging doesn't work anymore. So yes, so we made our Linux instance now a bit more secure. Uh, we we use something called security through obfuscation. We changed the port number from 22 to 1022. Um, and we just, we installed a firewall. We just allowed certain ports to be um, accessible on our server and we disabled pinging. So these were just steps to make our uh, server more secure and so later when we deploy the application it's as secure as possible so in the next uh, video in the next part we will do some um, name server domain name server configurations so see you in the next video